Hey everyone, Sheldon here, and this is another update video for the Paper Duel Extended Hidden Blade. So, since the last video, I made this piece, which is sort of like another layer that goes on top of the existing pieces I have here. So basically, I'm just gonna put this together again so you can see sort of how this whole thing is gonna go together. If you look at this entire piece, you can see kind of how I put it together. So basically it was just a flat piece and then I glued small little walls all around the outside edge. And then these little pieces here, which are for the screws. And if you look closely, you can see a dot right there and also on the other side. So basically I'm just gonna drill through those two areas, which is going to allow clearance for the pins for the locks. So these right here, basically once I drill those holes in there, I'll just be able to put this piece on there and the pins will go through those holes. But for right now, it's just going to lay flat on top, just like that. That's basically what it's going to look like when it's all on here. So if you look closely at this area right here, you can see there's this little cutout right here in this piece specifically. But if you look through there, you can see the little activation point on the slider right there. So that's really important that I have access to that activation point right there using the internal components that are going to be inside here. And I'm going to show you guys what those look like. These are the internal components I'm going to be using. So they're little gear sticks, I guess. And if you guys are familiar with I'm Pain Reborn, this is the technique he uses for his hidden blades. I'm not even really sure what it's called, but whatever it is, it's pretty awesome. Basically, I just drew out a blueprint and then just cut it out and stacked it up. So I have two of them right here and I still need to stack this piece up to the right height, which is going to be the same thickness as these. So I'm just going to try to show you guys how this works, even though this gear right here isn't the right thickness, but you'll still get the basic idea. So if you look right there, there's actually a cross. So this gear is eventually going to be pinned right there. So it's just going to be able to rotate, but it's not going to be able to move. And then this gear stick is going to go on this side like that. So the idea is they're going to move in opposite directions, which is pretty important to get this to work. And you guys will see all about that later on, but you can see how it moves like that. And surprisingly, there really isn't much friction. So that's pretty good. It's kind of hard to do that with paper, but I guess I lucked out in this case. But you can see that channel right there lines up with the end of this gear stick. So it's going to activate the activation point on the slider. Once I actually glue a little piece on here that will go through that channel and then line up with the activation point right here like that. So say this is on here like this and the front of that gear stick right there has a little piece that goes down into that activation point on the slider right there. Basically when this gear stick goes forward this one's going to go backwards which is very important and you guys will see why later on but when that gear stick moves forward as you know it's going to push the slider forward, which is going to cause the whole thing to work. And same thing for retraction. So I'm sorry if that sounds complicated right now, but I promise later on I'll explain how everything works, especially this part, because it's, it's simple, but it's a little complicated to see how it works. But once you understand it, it makes a lot more sense. And you can also see I have these pieces right here, which are going to form the next couple components, which is going to be the piece that goes above this and then another piece that goes above that. Basically, you guys will see what I'm talking about later on. 
But yeah, thanks for watching this video, you guys. I really appreciate it, as always. And hopefully I'll get some more videos up about this project pretty soon. And eventually the tutorial videos. But those will be done once the whole project is finished. So I'm not exactly sure when that's going to be yet. It's a work in progress. I say that a lot, but it really is. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or in a personal message. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see all the latest updates. And I'll see you guys in the next video.